What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. Today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 13. The ultimate showdown between Spawn and Chapel, his killer, and a brutal beatdown. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with Al Simmons recalling in time that he was playing baseball and how he broke his ankle and being next to Wanda, that's all he can remember was how beautiful she was and how they made love until the sun came up in the next morning and how she made him feel. Personally, I think this is a callback to when Todd McFarlane used to play baseball and this is a little bit of Todd McFarlane inside the character spawn how he resonates with them. Now in this panel right here, we're at Young Blood Headquarters where Bad Rock is on guard duty playing video games. And if you're not familiar with Young Bloods, it's a comic book series within Image Comics. I have not checked it out, I just know that's what the text is saying over here. But at that time, Spawn is recalling his friend Chapel, recalling the time he killed him. Yeah, Chapel killed Spawn, that's Spawn's killers. He here is being recruited into this Young Blood program. So Spawn checked in, and at the Young Blood Headquarters, this place is rigged with a heat sensor that detects anything remote remotely human because spawn is not remotely human it doesn't detect us so he's been sitting there waiting there waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike chapel and get down with the get down but in the meantime he recalls and tells the little remembers that he has with chapel death is all that they have in common and woman because chapel he loves his one night stands he has no one that he cares about no family no friends but that's what Chapel loves. And the longer that Al Simmons waits in that young blood headquarters room, he finds it harder to hate, to stay motivated to kill Chapel, to do some damage to Chapel. But he reminds himself that the love he had for Wanda and how Chapel took that away from him. So, how does he hate? Well, some people can hate but not be angry, and some people can be angry and not hate. It takes a very evil person to make you combine the two. And Chapel has become that, and now Spawn is motivated for the showdown. And the thing is, if Chapel can kill a friend, everything else is easy and enjoyable. And we see Chapel in this training session duking out with droid robots. Shaft, their team leader of the young blood, comes in, tells him to calm down. Hey, it's time to get everyone together for this team meeting. And Chapel's like, not me, baby. You guys could quit if you want to. I'm just getting warmed up. And Spawn just further motivates his incentive to kill Chapel down the hallway. He's still as cocky as ever. Good, I didn't want this to be easy. Because with my powers, I can't lose no matter what happens in the next few hours i've got the winning hand so now spawn emerges and just flexes as a superiority in the young blood headquarters he spots chapel 30 feet away and for what for lack of a better term his heart does drop or skip a beat even though as we know violet removed his heart but he's dead now though he wishes not to waste any more of his precious new powers he knows he has no choice because he doesn't want shaft he doesn't want the other leaders he wants strictly chapel and their team leader shaft commands the respect of those he leads and he's like hey mister don't make a move i don't know how you get in but you're not gonna get out and Spawn's like, make your move. Everyone freezes because they don't know who they're up against. But in this moment, Bad Rock enters the room like, hey, yo, dudes, what's up? Some trip the alarm. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of a stupid comedic right there. But he's thinking Spawn is another recruit. So Spawn's like, nah, man, enough time with this. He lifts his hands and gestures ever so slowly like a modern day Dracula because he morphed into size and he's shrinking and twisting, radiating any colors of greenish and blue until he's completely gone, gone from their sight. Him and Chapel go away and they don't know where they're at. So Shaft tells it to either lift them up, sweep the complex, search for signs of other security breaches. If it's not clear, notify headquarters. I've just reassigned our unit this is priority one check the databases we got to get a move on this thing so in this panel right here it's late night for terry fitzgerald and wanda and their daughter cyan in their new york neighborhood as an agent of the united states security group terry always faced the possibility of danger he distanced himself from that side of things years ago when he shifted over to its intercultural liaison unit after what happened to al he needed a break from the front line of activity Plus, you know, the man has a family now. But this morning's threats from the previous issue, he knows the security group doesn't muscle its own unless they have something very serious on him. And for the life of him, he can't imagine what that would be. Wanda wakes up and tells him to go back to bed. He can't, unfortunately, so he goes 
to check on his child. She asked him, is it something to talk about? And he can't. But she knew that when she chose to be with him, there's some parts of his line of work that he has to keep secret and he's not ready to release that to her. And he, she's okay with that. So he gazes over his daughter's innocent face and he wonders how much time is left before she learns the cruelty that people do to each other on this world. In this panel right here, we see Detective Sandbrick is just finishing a miserable day of work in the field, hearing complaints of concerned citizens. In this case, it's an elderly lady telling Sam how she stabbed her husband in the ass cheek, so to speak. It's a weird story, but Twitch comes in and their investigation is almost complete. And if everything goes well, they should be back on the streets in terms of doing their duties fiduciary cop duties by thursday and if we're acquitted we're back on the streets and all is good baby and sam's like good thank you twitch because i'm going to find our little red hero that day spawn even though he doesn't know that his name is spawn he knows they gotta find spawn and let him know what they've been going through because they saw spawn in spawn issue number five when he killed billy king k so now back into the action nearly eight thousand miles from the young blood headquarters lies a certain swamp in botswana a green mist swamp Worlds there visibly taking form they show up and chapel's like where the hell are we boy and spawns like surely you haven't forgotten about this place and chapel's like man i don't pay attention to any landscape when i'm working exactly says spawn you never give a damn about anything that crossed your path even your so-called friends and spawns trying to give him remembrance like yo this is al by giving him clues and chapel's like i ain't trying to hear all that shit buddy you don't know a damn thing about me not a guy damn thing if we're here to fight then let's get it on and spawns like uh okay i see always a tough guy eh? i've forgotten how deep your arrogance can be everything i am you gave to me in a roundabout way the devil didn't make me you did he only took advantage of me after i was dead as for fighting you're damn right we're gonna fight and by the way your signal device i've scrambled your signal so your friends won't be helping you today spawn removes his cape in preparation for battle and chapel goes in and spawns like i ain't disappointed i love this and he clobbers him with the right hook you haven't been listening boy you killed me you stole everything from me and don't you remember it and chapel flies back look at what you've made he takes off his symbiote mask hoping that chapel will remember or recognize that it was out i thought we were the same and we loved our country but friends you don't slaughter your friends it was the enemy we're after that day but i guess i made a fatal mistake in trusting you and chapel's like you're crazy that's for sure it's gonna be a pleasure breaking your scrawny little neck and let's end this now you haven't changed at all in the years says spawn not at all so full of yourself always did think you were the best even with the ladies isn't that right there's a call back right here remember the dawn one of killers if you don't remember that's what spawn calls chapel when he was alive the dawn one of the ladies now he's the dawn one of killers and that opens up chapel's eyes and he remembers a flashback elsewhere in past events where him and jason Wynn were in the room jason Wynn gave chapel the order to eliminate simmons why because even though he's a friend, Jason Wynn tells Chapel that Spawn was flagged as a spy for their enemies and his orders were to eliminate Al. And Chapel was one of them kind of brothers that uh, he doesn't question the order, he just does it. And he verified nothing. And that's what pissed Spawn off. So who's better to kill a security problem than an obedient puppet? And that's Chapel. For Chapel, it was all about getting the job done. And when the time came, he loaded his laser pick, walked up to Al because he had the ability to get close to Al because they were friends once upon a time and blast his brains to a crisp. And Chapel's like, you're not real. You can't be back in present time as he clobber spawn. It must be Geiger mess with me. Always throwing me some illusions or trickery at me. But to use you, Simmons, oh, that's a good one. And he tries to drown Simmons in the water like, you got your own problems now. I'm going to kill you. And Spawn's like, look, I'm not dead enough and you can't kill me. I got the upper hand here. And as he, you know, gets the upper hand and tosses his ass to the side, Chapel's like, maybe it's you, maybe it's not. But I never could stomach your whining and bitching all the time, trying to fix everything. You always wear the goody two shoes. You screwed everything. But damn you, it was me who took the serum, not you. I'm the one poisoned with HIV. I'm imagining that's like superhuman strength or something. So screw your sob story. Not realizing this, Chapel doesn't know that human weapons don't hurt Spawn. And Al Simmons is like, how pitiful you've become. I didn't take the serum because Wanda and I were trying to conceive. So you believe what you want. I don't care. He takes out the blade, but it is me. 
back from the dead with more power than I need, but little else. You don't scare me, says Chapel. I killed you once, I could do it again. And Spawn's like, wrong, I'm the one in position to kill. You'll be dead if that's what I wanted, but it's not. You see, Chapel, when I died, friends and family mourned my loss. My death caused a lot of sadness. But if I kill you, no one will give a damn. You don't have any friends or family who would shed a single tear. Only thing you ever care about was that one night poom poom chump chump stamp. Mm. Just a bunch of whores you didn't give a damn about the next day. That's all you got and that's all you'll ever have. Well, I could fix that. So Spawn uses his power time to even the score and Chapel screams in pain and Spawn gives him back his tracker. Here, it works now. Your pal should be able to find you from now. I want you to see how tough you really are to see if you can really keep this war on the personal level. Bye, bitch. Eight hours later, young bloods go up into the island and look for Chapel. What happened? You see the guy in the red cape? What happened? What, what went down over here? And all Chapel can do is say nothing as Spawn branded his face in the form of a skull. And Chapel's just pissed, but this is a brutal ending. And that's where we end this issue, this review of Spawn, issue number 13. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. Support the art support the industry this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee link in description because i do these in the early mornings or donate to the super things but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel thank you again for watching until next time